Hey guys, it's uh, Mike from Boyer Bows here. I just watched the uh, last video I tried to do on uh, how to skin a snake. And uh, that was a pretty poor video, guys. I'm sorry about that. Figures that, um, you know, when you've been waiting for a phone call all day long, and uh, they say they'll call no later than a certain time. Of course, they'll call you right when you're trying to make a video, 15 minutes after the fact. But, in any case, I hope you got the gist of it. This here is the uh, skin that I did, the, the, the red tail, boa constrictor. And what you see, this is, uh, we skinned him. As I was saying, uh, I got a little happy with the terminology. Uh, I was watching, uh, I just watched uh, Anthony Bourdain. I don't know where he was, but they were making frog plugs. Skin in the frog's leg, and they say just hold on to the skin and take his pants off, which is where I got that term from. But anyway, this is the uh, snake you saw. I uh, just once you get it started, if you get it started properly, you just slide the little exacto knife. I like a rounded blade. Just get it under those ribs and under that vertebrae. Grab the vertebrae and just peel the skin away. And if you do a good job, you don't have to. The amount of fleshing you'll have to do is minimal. Uh, I could have done a little bit more flesh, fleshing here, apparently. But basically, this is what you get. And uh, what's going to happen now is I've just stretched and pinned it. There are a lot of ways to do this. This is the cheapest, easiest way. And given that they're so small, I just used a tube. Oh, here's the... Uh, the skin I could salvage from the uh, what I believe was a baby Burmese python. Uh, it stretched out pretty nicely as well, but there's just not much of it. Uh, but I never waste them. It's good practice, if nothing else. And uh, anyway, I just it's uh, scale side down. So this is the inner side where all the organs and flesh and all the good stuff or not so good stuff would be. The outside is the pretty scaly part. I put that down, I stretch it, pin it. Now, a good way to do this, if uh, you see the problem, it's uh, flush with the cardboard. If you do use nails, you can nail it down and then raise the skin off about halfway up a nail so that the airflow gets under it and above it and it'll dry out a lot faster. This would be a really good idea if you live somewhere where it's uh, maybe a little more humid. I live in the desert, so this stuff will be, dry, you know, even indoors, this skin will be dry in about, well, by morning, uh, without fail. If it was the middle of the day, I could actually, I couldn't even put them outside. They'd probably cook. I know it's September, but it's still up in the high 90s here, so I wouldn't risk it. But, um... If I left them out at night, I can come back in the morning if the bugs don't eat it, then, uh, and they usually don't, but uh, I could come back and this thing would be perfectly dry. This is how uh, I air dry them, and I like skins that are air dried best for backing bow limbs. Um, the reason is, uh, a lot of the ways that they uh, tan um, snake skins, uh, it doesn't always go very well with the uh, uh, glue you're going to use. As for a, a lot of people, tan with uh, denatured alcohol and glycerin, and the, I find the glycerin can cause problems. The skins get a little rubbery, um, and uh, they don't stick well. But uh, air dry, you, you know, it, it just I think you give yourself the best chance of success. Anyway, that's it. Um, maybe I'll do a quick video with these things when I take them off and dried. But otherwise, that's all there is to it. No special uh, chemicals, no special techniques. Just stretch them down, pin them down. The larger the snake you have, the longer the piece of cardboard you need. And um, uh, that's it. Any questions, leave a comment, leave in the comment section, but uh, this was pretty self-explanatory, and 
I will make another video of me skinning a snake uh, when I get another snake. So hopefully that will happen soon. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.